The dating landscape is a bit of a weird one in this day and age. 2023 has seen less and less people having sex, singleness rise to over 60%, and of the relationships that do start, 90% of them end in heartbreak. If you clicked on this video, you wanna know if the person you're dating ticks all the boxes. The quality of your relationships will determine the quality of your life. But relationships are something that too many people get so wrong. They can't find a suitable mate, or if they do, they wanna run in the opposite direction as soon as things get hard. In this video, we're going over the six signs that let you know that you've found the one. So let's get into it. Number one, they act as a team player. They make decisions based on what's best for the relationship, not just what's best for them. It's so important that you act as a team within your relationship. You have that team dynamic. You've got each other's backs. It feels like it's you and them against the world. In tough times, being able to lean on them for help and support. And if you're struggling with something, you know they're your rock. You can depend on them when you need to. And if they're struggling, they can also depend on you. They never get insecure or jealous whenever you win. Instead, they celebrate with you. The team dynamic is so important within your relationship. Whenever conflict comes up, you realize that it's you and them against the problem. It's not you versus them. Too many individuals within a relationship try and win an argument, but there is no such thing as winning an argument in a great relationship. You both win together or you both lose together. The next part of the team dynamic is putting in equal effort to support the other person. If you get home tired after work, even though you said you were gonna cook, do they offer to cook because you're tired? Can you support each other when you need to? There are so many small opportunities to be a team player within your relationship. And this team dynamic is something that really bonds that relationship. So number one to know if you found the one is are they a team player? Number two, they challenge you. I want you to think about Sally and Lightning McQueen. Are they your number one cheerleader? They really want you to win. And the way they do this is by challenging you and holding you to your highest standard. Because they want you to win, right? Have you ever been in a relationship where your partner doesn't hold you to a high standard? They allow you to get off the hook all the time. They allow you to get comfortable. They allow you to take the easy route. If you want to go to the gym in the morning, when you wake up, do they say, no, I want to cuddle, stay in bed? Or do they allow you to go to the gym? Or do they try and convince you to eat ice cream and watch Netflix when they know you've got work to do? Although this feels good in the short term, it's not what's best for you in the long run. You know you've found the one when the thing they're optimizing for is your long-term happiness and success rather than the instant pleasures. And a part of this is tough love. They are willing to offer you constructive criticism. They're there to celebrate your victories and they're there to pick you up when you're feeling low. This is a trait I really love in Mia. If I say I'm going to do something, she makes sure I do it. If I'm nervous for a podcast interview, she instills that self-belief into me that I can do it. This is a trait that's so, so important to have in your partner. By the way, if you like this style of content and you want free weekly videos on all things mastering your relationships, subscribe to the channel where me and I post four new videos every single week. The third trait to let you know you found the one is they get you, and I mean really get you. One of the most important traits for a human being is a sense of belonging, a sense of that you can be your true self and you don't have to put a fake persona on just to impress the other person. Too many people live their lives playing a character of what they think the world wants them to be rather than being their true self. They wash down their personality so much that they forget who they are. When you've found the one, you feel like you can be your true self and you've got nothing else to hide. As you move deeper and deeper into a relationship, it's revealing more and more of yourself. It's allowing you to be fully exposed to the other person. This is also called vulnerability. Getting to this point is such an amazing feeling because the other person loves every part of you which will help you love every part of you. Everybody has their own shit that they try and hide from the world, whether it be shame or embarrassment. But moving through life and maturing is about peeling back these layers. It's about overcoming these insecurities. Having someone that gets how you feel, can see the world as you do, understands you, can love every part of you and see your future. This is someone you don't want to let go of. The fourth trait really adds on to this, which is you connect on an emotional level. I'm sure you've heard the term emotional intimacy, right? It's the ability to understand, connect, and fully trust another person. This is something that I see my clients struggling with in their relationship, but understand it's a skill to develop. If you haven't got emotional intimacy in your relationship, don't think it's over. It's just something that you can improve upon. If your partner is willing to connect with you on a deep emotional level, this is a sure sign you've found the one. They can get to a point where they know what you need on a deep emotional level, sometimes without you having to ask. If they can feel you need closeness, they can give you that closeness. If they feel you need distance, they can also give you the distance. It feels like they get you like no one else does. They know what makes you tick. They know what makes you happy. They know what makes you sad. They never come with judgment of your flaws. Instead, they love you through all of it. If you want a free guide on the eight principles to mastering your relationship, as well as deepening your connection, then grab the free ebook that's in the description right now. The fifth trait is you really apologize to them. Have you ever found yourself apologizing just to end the conversation? You say sorry just to get your partner off your back. You're willing to lie just so your partner calms down. This is not a good sign within a relationship. You must be patient with your partner and figure out what their needs are. Otherwise, the issues will keep recreating themselves because you haven't sorted the root cause of the issue. If you keep looking for shortcuts instead of taking the time to understand your partner, this won't resolve anything. 
Your partner wants to know that you value their needs and complaints. Otherwise, they're not gonna air them in the future, but instead they'll brush them under the rug and this will lead to bigger arguments down the road. This is all about being a team player. What's best for the relationship in the long run, rather than what's the easiest thing for you right now. So if you feel like you really wanna apologize to your partner and get to the root cause of issues, then this is a great sign that you've found the one. And finally, number six, you talk into your futures together. Your partner's really excited about future plans, making commitments together. This shows that they feel secure within the relationship and they're excited about the future. So in your relationship, make sure you're sharing future plans. Make sure you're sharing your goals. Make sure you're asking them about their goals. It is so important that you're on a similar path in life, that your future's aligned. This way you can have so much confidence and certainty in your relationship. This will help all of those previous points to help you create a secure base in your relationship. So you can be teammates, you can challenge each other, you can really get to know each other on an emotional level. You'll want to apologize to do what's best for the relationship in the long run. Some other non-negotiables that I haven't mentioned is, do they trust you? Do they respect you? Do they value your opinion? Are you attracted to them? Is there a strong friendship? And are they proud to call you their partner? Relationships are so important and I believe life's too short to spend it in shitty relationships. And it all starts with you developing that certainty and that trust within your relationship. We've coached a lot of relationships and what we found is it all comes back to the same eight principles. So we created a free ebook called The Eight Principles to Mastering Your Relationship, which you can grab in the description right now for free. Your personal development and knowledge around relationships will be your biggest predictor for creating a thriving relationship. And this ebook will be an absolute game changer for you. I'm super excited for you to grab it and dive deeper into the topic of mastering your relationships. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button for weekly videos and we'll see you next week.